The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from deep of the heart of the Amazon, weighing in at 205 pounds of razor sharp teeth, Piranha Can Rana. Getting set for action, Piranha Can Rana, who has been swimming with sharks as of late, took on the heritage champion, Richie Slade, and he's got a tall order this time out as well. Yeah, he absolutely does. And we and we saw him, you know, in the aftermath of that match with Richie Slade get branded by Beef Candy. Hopefully he's no worse for wear, both physically and you know, psychologically after that. And introducing his opponent from Agua Dulce, California, weighing in at 350 pounds, sweet Robin Shaw. Robin Shaw's got his war face on. That is for certain. Boy, oh boy, has this guy flipped the switch. Apparently, we're going to hear from the formerly sweet hold one. Hold on, hold on. Now, I've seen a lot of really stupid things in my time on the Friendship Farm before I burned it down. But I've never seen a baseball playing fish. What are you, some kind of bootleg Dasher Hatfield? But you're not even a very good professional wrestler. Piranha can run up. I'm going to make an example out of you. Nothing sweet about Robin Shaw anymore. That's for certain. Well, and, uh, you know, baseball playing fish perhaps, but he's going to have to step up to the plate. And he might go down swinging, taking on the big man. Reprehensible actions by Robin Shaw last time out. Absolutely squishing, squashing Gentleman Jervis. It might be out to squish the fish this time. Yeah, I, I mean, dastardly actions, incredibly dangerous actions by not so sweet Robin Shaw and now just toying oh, with Piranha boy, Carana, I, you know, it looks like. You can't fault Piranha Carana there trying to get the big man to revert there, you know? He, Robin Shaw was a hugger for a long time, but now he'll put the squeeze on you and it's not gonna feel good. Yeah, filled with hate now, used to be filled with a little bit more love, no longer. Something interesting about Piranha Carana trying to go for the hug there, he was not able to fully get his arms around Robin Shaw, meaning if he can't attach his arms, it, it will be very hard for him to land any type of upper body throws on Robin Shaw. Given he's a big boy, though, I don't know too many guys who could ta take him for a flight. A lot of pressure on the on the gills there of Piranha Canrana. You saw him there trying to catch a breath, and he's getting pulled into deep water early on here with Robin Shaw. Robin Shaw's got power, but I know you'll agree with me here. Very uh, deceptively agile as well for a super heavyweight Blake. I agree 100% with that, and I, but I still believe that the agility is going to be in Piranha Canrana's favor, and I think he needs to start utilizing that. He came out and went straight head to head with Robin Shaw early on and has been pretty much getting beat down since then. He needs to use his speed and not stay in front of Robin Shaw. If he can get behind Robin and continue to land striking attacks, I think he can have a uh, stand a chance in this matchup. But the way things are going right now, he is going to continue to get beat down. Yeah, you got to create some distance, but it might be too little too late for Piranha Canrana. I spoke too soon there. Now he can't follow up. He just doesn't have the strength. To, to do that to Robin Shaw. Not enough strength in those fins or flippers. Now an arm, arm drag there by Robin Shaw, who has been more dangerous than ever. He's added that sweet embrace, that you know big pile driver, as well as the sweet victory. And out of the way there, Piranha Karana could be chum in the water. This is some of the agility that I meant, where he got out of the way, let Robin Shaw damage himself, and now he's trying to come in, strike, create distance, get back in and strike, and then disengage again. Because if he stays engaged, oh, no. Robin yeah, Shaw's oh, yeah, gonna grab oh, him. Better, just keep swimming, just keep swimming if you know what's good for you. Got caught there by Shaw into the big time choke slam. Piranha Karana, he needs to maybe roll out of the ring, take I mean, a little seventh inning stretch, oh, one foot of cover, two. Still got some fight though, Blake. He does still have some fight in him. I agree with what James said. If he gets out of the ring, maybe gets himself a little bit of time to recover. He's in a bad place right now. He was barely able to kick out on two there, and Shaw only had a foot on him. Shaw now applying more and more pressure. Look at the strength and just deposits him. Just drops him to the canvas unceremoniously. As they say, the eyes are the window to the soul, and that's going to be a scary place if you look through the eyes of Robin Shaw. Just a tortured, damaged visage on Robin Shaw since he turned on the Friendship Farm. 
We have absolutely seen a big flip in Robin Shaw. He has become a much more ruthless and aggressive competitor since turning on the friendship farm. And now he's really going to that next level on Piranha Can Rana inside the ring. And I gotta wonder if he looks at Piranha Can Rana and, and, and almost, oh my God. And, and now the vice grip here, this vice grip, like I said, trying to squish the fish is Robin Shaw. Imagine the pressure with all that body weight behind it. Uh, you could just hear Piranha Karana screaming in there from that vice grip. Oh my goodness. A lot of guys, a lot of guys there would have tapped. He has been taking a lot of damage. I don't know that I don't know that he knew any better. I don't think Piranha Karana knows where he is right now. And I think when Shaw sees him, he might see Jervis. You know, he sees the masked man, he sees a you know a over the top character. Yeah, he, I mean, he referenced the Friendship Farmer that, that exactly very reminiscent of, quote, what he had to deal with before he burned down the Friendship Farm. And, Blake, I think he certainly could have finished him with that vice. I think Shaw's having fun out there. He wants to apply more pressure and damage. I think you make a great point about his hatred for the Friendship Farm and really, oh. wow, putting some damage on Peronic and Rana and really letting some of that dislike for the Friendship Farm out on Peronic and Rana. He's... He seems like a victim of something that he has no part of. Look out here, he's got him hooked. There it is, sweet embrace. Goodness gracious, how devastating is the big man. Good night, no joy in Mudville for Piranha and Rana. Here is your winner, sweet Robin Shaw. Let's take a look back at the action brought to you by the United Wrestling Shop, unitedwrestlingshop.com, the vice grip. Just devastate. He continues to add more tools to his damaging playbook and then the sweet embrace. Yeah, the sweet embrace, that vice grip, the brutality on display. Man, I want to Jervis! You and me, coastline clash. I'll be waiting. Wow. Challenge issued there by Robin Shaw, challenging gentleman Jervis for Coastline Clash, says I'll be ready, but will Jervis be ready? There's no way he's 100%. Man, I wanna see that Viser grip again. He almost had a tap out of Piranha and Rana. That was brutal. Might not have been pretty, but it sure was effective. We'll be back. Yikes. Jerry Jarrett is coming home to Memphis, courtesy of Pro Shingle, a professional roofing company. Meet the founder of Memphis Wrestling on Sunday, May 2nd. Tickets are available at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Come see the stars of Memphis Wrestling live at our new Wrestle Center. Tickets for May 16th TV taping are now on sale at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com.